In this video review, we're staying at Burt Lake State Park Campground, which is in Indian River, Michigan, about 30 miles south of the Mackinac Bridge. And here's our site, site number 17 at Burt Lake State Park. And they're starting to accommodate larger rigs, and this is one of a handful of pull-throughs with a 50 amp service. However, they still don't have full hookups, but, you know, that's not too bad. And there's also a park store right on the beach. And this is Burt Lake, which the state park is named after. And it's uh, actually on something called Michigan's Inland Waterway. That it actually goes from Lake Huron and Sheboygan uh, down the Sheboygan River and uh, through a couple lakes and a couple rivers. Kind of a chain of lakes thing. And Indian River is where the Inland Waterway comes out here, which is in the town of Indian River. So it's kind of a boating friendly park. And as we pan from Burt Lake over to the campground, you can see actually how close the campground is. So it's really just on the other side of the beach. And most all of the campsites, other than a few by the beach, are all in the woods. So this campground is probably 80% in the woods and 20% on the beach. So if you are doing reservations, you look at the map, then just be aware of that. Uh, it just depends on what you like. And we have a nice mixture of tall pine trees with some others spattered in, but pretty nice. This time of the year, yesterday afternoon, we had the air conditioner on, and this morning we had it on the heater. But that's the way it is in northern Michigan uh, in the late spring. And some of these sites that are out in the open aren't too far from the lake. These are pretty nice, actually. And this fenced stuff area is a pet area, so you can bring your pets down by the lake. That's kind of nice. And in the pet area, we have their very own pet beach. And this is a uh, fairly shallow beach here, and you can see the boats, how far out they are. There is no docking for the boat, so if you bring your boat, you're going to have to anchor out. And, uh, uh, you know, this lake is fairly long, and it's near the tip of the lower peninsula of Michigan. And so you can get some winds through here, so you got to have an anchor that's pretty good. There's also adequate bathroom facilities, and they're really not that far apart at this park. Horseshoes, anyone? And while some of the other state parks in Michigan have been putting in a little bit more of a deluxe children's play area, they haven't done it to this park yet. We've got basically some swing sets and a couple slides, and that's about it. But that's all I had when I was a kid. And in the far distance, we have the campground beach, and then here we have the day use beach. And then as we swing around, again, day use beach, and then we have the boat launch. And if you do stay here, I do recommend you check the site out and the reservation system because you may get into a real small site like this versus our site, which is just across the road. That's a double length site that's a pull-through.